170. Get in there. This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. The shrimp, yeah, man, eating well, eating well. The oil or the cream. Now, what's the first move that we do, guys? <coughs> Effluage, and what's the purpose of it? Warm up. Warm up, keep going. What else Just you doing? Yeah. Good. Yeah, Good. man. Yeah, man. What's going on, guys? George here. Hope you're all amazingly well today. Um, today is I'm trying not to look. Today is the 11th of uh, October, uh, 2016, and um, I thought today's video would be slightly uh, different. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film my chest and traps workout. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into detail. I can do a voiceover of it. So. Um, a lot of people quite interested in what sets and reps I, I do. I thought a lot of people wouldn't be, but a lot of people were quite interested in like how I do it and what sets and variations. So I'm going to do a voiceover on my workout today, so hopefully you enjoy something a bit different. I just want to say um, massive uh, thank you to everyone who commented last uh, on my last video, my food. Um, I was pretty miserable in it, to be fair, but uh, a lot of you have uh, cheered me up, so... Um, I do really appreciate that. Thank you for everyone. I will reply to you right now. Uh, currently, right now, I'm eating um, broccoli, uh, rice, and a little bit of steak. Um, and I've got train about about eight o'clock tonight. It's about six o'clock now, so I've got train about then. And um, yeah, I'll show you the uh, workout. And also, I've got something exciting coming up tomorrow. I'm recording back. But I'm training with someone very special. She's uh, a female, but she's uh, a pro bodybuilder. She won a Miami Pro and stuff like that. She's um, gone to the British finals and all that crazy stuff. Um, yeah, she's she's a big she's a big girl. So uh, I have a pleasure to train with her. Get a bit of uh, experience from a female. If there's any female followers that like going to the gym and stuff like that, hopefully she can help you and that kind of stuff. So I'm excited but nervous. Haven't really trained with a bird who's a uh, well female who is uh, much stronger than me, much bigger than me. So I'm quite nervous, but I'm quite excited at the same time, and it should be good. But um, yeah, for right now I'm eating and um, I'm gonna chill. Gonna reply to all these comments. Thank you, like I said to everyone who commented on my last video. Uh, we gained a shitload of fucking subscribers as well yesterday. Fuck me, I gained like twenty in a day, if probably more than that. So. Uh, Really appreciate the support, and like I said, if you want to see any videos or if you request any videos, just let me down. Let me know in the comments below. Message me on Snapchat, George Osmond Twelve. Message me on Instagram, George Osmond Twelve. All that kind of stuff, and um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next clip. What's going on, guys? So welcome to my like, first proper uh, commentary of the. Uh channel um i don't know if to add a bit of music to this or not i don't really know what's what i'm doing but like i said it's chest and traps today and uh, i always have a warm-up um exercise i either do dips pull-ups or um the fly machine now i chose the fly machine today as it was free and what a lot of people do wrong on this is they forget about the elbows now your elbows need to be high to contract the chest a lot of people have them all flared out to the side and shit like that you need it kind of like to the, I don't know, just up. Like you need them tucked up. You don't need them flaring out. So we did like 15 and 20 reps to that just to get some blood flowing in the muscle. And then we moved on to the compound movements. Now, as you can see, I did five sets of this, 15, 10, 8, 6, 6. Um, pretty lightweight this was. This was 15 reps I think I got here. 
Um, strength is going up on the bulk. Uh, form is pretty tight as well. Always keep your elbows tucked in. Don't flare them out, otherwise you'll fuck your shoulder up. And um, remember, all the way down, hit your chest and bring it back up. Um, yeah, there's not really much to say about the uh, bench press, really. Just lift heavy. Always try and lift heavy on it. And um, always... Always remember forms. Form comes first. What am I doing? Form comes first. The form is the most important bit about it. As you can see, this was 90. I hit 90 here. I think I got six reps. This is my final set. Uh, and then I did a drop set of... Um, I took uh, the 10 and the 5 off each side. And I did 60 kg. As you can see, a little bit heavier for me. I was a bit... Legs look alright though. Legs look okay. But like I said, elbows tucked in and we're driving through the elbows, squeezing the chest all the way down to the chest and all the way back up. And uh, go on, boy. Go on, go on. Hey. Uh, and then the, the bad thing about the gym that I train at is I don't have an inclined bench press. So I went on the Smith machine and this is probably the hardest Smith machine I've ever used in my life. The bar is so thick, I can't even get my hands around it. As you can see... Um, I've got my hands kind of uh, gripped over because I can't actually get it around the uh, bar comfortably. So um, what I did is I did 15 reps and uh, I, got, I kept increasing the weight each set. As you can see here, the chest, you can see it working. I go all the way up and all the way down to hit the upper chest. Uh, elbows tucked in again and we drive through. And I think on this one, I'm yeah, I'm doing all right here. I'm... So, Oh, it's getting harder, it's getting harder. But um, always remember to keep your elbows tucked in and um, make sure you squeeze the chest at the top. As you can see, my chest is uh, squeezed. Oh, God, boy, God, God. Hey. Then we moved on to a great exercise for the lower chest. Uh, a lot of people don't do dips, but I love doing dips. And as you can see, um, I don't know if you can notice the uh, handles, they go pointing out. You want your hand. You want your hands to be right at the back of... Uh, the uh, little grips, if that makes sense. So uh, you want to target the um, chest by leaning forward, poking your ass out, and driving through that chest. As you can see, my hands are quite further back, uh, and what I'm doing is I'm leaning forward and I'm pushing through that chest. So I don't use a lot of my shoulders, and um, it's just mainly focusing on the chest. And I had a bit of weight in uh, the weight, a dumbbell, I should say, a dumbbell in between my legs. And you just got to drive for it. So I did four sets, I think, of 10 to 15 reps. A great hypertrophy kind of um, exercise. And then I moved on to something different, which I don't normally do. I normally do dumbbell flies, but I don't do what I did um, after this bit. So I did four sets of 10 reps. Uh, you got to stretch the chest out, stretch it. A lot of people um, bend their arms too much. You need a little slight bend in the arms. Um, don't come all the way up you want to keep constant tension on the uh, chest and uh, you want to feel that stretch have a pause at the bottom and come back up and this is the second part of the movement this is like a uh, close grip kind of incline uh, press uh, we tried to go to failure on this and uh, it's pretty hard actually um, as you see the chest is working there elbows tucked in all the way down so I made sure the dumbbells hit my chest and then after that I squeezed it back up so that was it. And then we moved back onto the uh, fly machine. We did four sets of 10, uh, 15, and uh, the rest were 10. And then we did a drop set to failure. As you can see, my elbows are high. The chest is contracted. I come all the way in, uh, all the way out. And um, yeah, like I said before, don't have your elbows flaring down. Have them flared up so you can contract the chest properly. And um, vary it. You can go heavy, you can go light, you can go for the pump. Mix it up. That's all about your training. You need to mix it up. And as you can see, uh, I trained chest uh, with traps. And we did some upright rows, cable upright rows. I normally vary it between the uh, uh, easy curl bar and the cables. And today I did the cables. Actually, as you can see, my elbows are higher than what the bar is. A lot of people forget that um, to contract the... Uh, traps you need to bring your elbows you need to elevate your elbows higher than the actual bar a lot of people just bring it up and back down but there's another back room yet yeah. oh popping a little bit there as you can see i'm keeping it good uh, form's pretty tight got a bit of a swing but it's all good 
Um, I think we did four sets for 12 reps, and I like to vary it with, as you can see here now, uh, barbell shrugs, and um, what I like to do, I don't know if my form's all right with this, I'm kind of leaning forward, but what I did is I did four sets to failure, I started off with a plate, added another plate, added another plate, and just went for many as I can, then took him off, and that was pretty much it for the workout, I don't know how this commentary's gone, I've kind of gone a bit quick over it, but uh, let me know what you think, if I should do more, and there's some walk in front of the camera, which I hate, I had a flash on as well, so it was noticeable. But that was it for that, guys. Um, I'll catch you next bit. All right, guys, so that was the uh, chest and uh, traps workout. And thumbs up if you like the commentary, something different. Uh, let me know if you like it or not. Uh, I'm walking home now, so I've got to be careful where I'm walking because I can't fucking see. But um, I'm going to get home, show you my shake, uh, my pre workout, uh, post workout, fuck, post workout shake and my post-workout meal so stay tuned for that and I'll wrap the video up so uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe so cheers alright guys so uh, post-workout uh, shake you should already know what I'm having is the uh, chocolate fudge uh, milk and I've got a scoop of uh, creatine in there like that Bam. and uh, in case you want to know what uh, chocolate fudge milk is this is it it's the one percent uh fat milk and um i'll get this from aldi um it only cost me about 95p nothing crazy so that's my post-workout gonna give that a stir then i'm gonna get in the shower then it's post-workout meal so um yeah i'll catch you in the next clip um so guys, post-workout, we have a free jacket potatoes, we have a tin of tuna, and we have just cheese on top. Hopefully that will melt in nicely with the tuna and the jacket potato. So that's post-workout. I don't know the exact nutrition on it. I haven't added it up yet. Uh, but like I said, I, when I'm bulking, I just cook from the swole, uh, salt to get a swole. And um, yeah, it's pretty much it. It's about 11 o'clock right now, so it's pretty late. And I'm just going to eat this and then probably go to bed. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about these videos, um, oh, especially with the commentary. I'm not 100% like very good at uh, speaking on the camera. Like, I've got to keep up with kind of like what I'm doing, if that makes sense. But let me know what you think about it, if I should do more, like put out the sets and reps of everything and uh, all that malarkey. If you're still watching, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. All the links are just down below. Um, and yeah, tomorrow I'm training with a bodybuilder, so, um, that's going to be exciting. Make sure you watch out for that video. And yeah, like I said, if you're still watching, I really appreciate that. And, uh, thank you for all the support so far. Um, I'm just really tired. I want to go to sleep really, if I'm honest. But, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. Like I said, I'll catch you in the next one and, uh, keep following your dreams. Keep working hard. Keep eating right and the results will come. Just give it time. Always progress and um, kill your workouts. Make sure you kill it. Always remember what your goal is each time you go in there. Don't go in there half-heartedly saying you can't be bothered. If you want to get somewhere in this life, you've got to, uh, you've got to put in some work. So thank you for the support and I'll catch you next one, guys.